up guys hope you're having a good week so today uh we're gonna use the uh the shave mac the custom but uh we kind of ran into a little bit of an issue and this happened guys so um i'm kind of speechless at this point this happened like two hours ago um I ordered this from Germany. It is, I'm not a second owner, I'm the first owner. I paid $180. This was custom made, 26 millimeters bulb, silver tip, with a 50 millimeter loft, I believe. And it took like four, almost a month to get here. And I used it three times. I never soaked it above the level. And I literally just went like this and it popped out. Um, I'm tight, man. <laughs> I'm freaking tight. Like, dude, I spent $180 on this brush. This is a shave mac. It's got such a good reputation, dude. And I'm just kind of salty right now. Um, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to bash them. Uh, I believe they provide knots for Savile Row and Thater. Um, and we all know Stallion has like 100 Savile Rows and has never experienced this. But... I, you know, I, I just thought I had to share this. Um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty pissed. Like, um, so uh, I'm in talks with the surgeon of Knots JR right now. We, uh, we might be doing a, something we could do to save this. I don't know. We'll, I have to figure out what's the next course of action. But yeah, on to the shave. Uh, we're continuing Fern Boy week with Fougere Mania. This is currently my favorite fougere in the den. And this is by Holy Cow in their Sierra base, which is their current top base. Um, I get the Neroli mostly. Very Neroli forward scent. Therefore, in my opinion, it is bright. Um, I don't wanna make this go too long, so. Yeah, man, I was in a decent mood and that just killed my vibe, dude. Ugh. Yeah, this is mentholated, by the way. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of this thermal appreciate. It's cheap. I cut it into fours. It'll literally last forever. And I think it does add some decent slickness. Um, for the razor, I'm going back to the Sagus today. Um, just want to get more in tune with it. But yeah, man, that's unfortunate. Dude, I'm pissed. Ah, <laughs> uh, whatever. I don't know. You just you spend a lot of money, and you um, it's got from a reputable brand. You think uh, it'll translate to a good experience, but it doesn't always happen that way. Anyways, um, for the brush, we'll be using a much better brush. This is a Declaration B7. I already loaded it. I'm pretty confident that this won't fall out. So, uh, yeah, this is the Sagus. I put an Alpha Bravo handle on here. Let's get into uh, loading, shall we? Yeah, so this is the soap I was talking about the other day that um, I ordered the sample because with Holy Cow, their scents have been very hit or miss for me. I tried the Man of Mayfair sample, hated it. Holy Cow Rebel, hated it. But what's interesting about Rebel is it smelled like Play-Doh off the puck, right? Once I lathered it up, the scents kind of came to life. Get a little action on that lather. And I actually like that scent. And I have a set. Anyways, I ordered this from Maggard's sample. And I liked it so much. Within the next hour, I just ordered the set. Because I was like on the search for a fougere that I would like at the time. And there was so much I didn't like. My experience with like a fougere was like diamond. If that even counts. 
Sorry, Will. I hate to roast you on that, son. You just... Some people love it. I don't. <laughs> this is, uh... Creeped into my top five bases. It might be even top three. Um, I'm a big fan of this base. Because... For me, I couldn't really get a servable, serviceable lather with it. Um, but once I look past that... The performance was great. The post shave felt amazing. And it literally just makes my skin feel better. Like, just bottom line. So yeah, it's expensive as hell. But it's a good quality product. I believe it uses uh, uh, the proteins. Is that what it's called? The whey? I forgot. I gotta look up the ingredients again. I'm sorry. Maybe in the next Holy Cow video. This could take a little bit more water. Yeah, man, I wish I would have spent that money on another declaration. Um, his, his brushes are expensive, but the not tiny service is like half the price, and you can get handles for cheap. So you can get the same shaving, you get the same lathering experience um, with the same exact knob on a cheaper handle customized to your liking. So it's not a bad option. But uh, yeah, man, it's all good. My pet never happened to me with Paladins. It is what it is. So I didn't even load the blade yet, I'm sorry. Today we're gonna be revisiting a blade I haven't had much experience with. And that's the Tiger Blade. Um, these are slept on, man. I like these. So my used, my favorite used to be Personas, even though I haven't used them in months. I just grew to like uh, Kai's and Nassets more. But the Tigers, I've used a couple times and I liked it. Um, the Sagus I found very efficient, but not a ton of blade feel. It's definitely there, but yeah, I liked it. Very smooth. All right, first pass. Yeah, like it's just cruise control. Very, very smooth. And the soap does not disappoint. <clears throat> For those of you that watch uh, Ken over at Shave 326, um, both him and his wife are really into fougeres. So I sent him a sample of this. And he liked it. But I don't think his wife liked it. So it didn't pass the test. <laughs> uh, but I like it. And it's in my den. So. It's all good. This is just a very comfortable shaver. It's a very different design with that curved head, but it just works well. I thought it was a gimmick, but I'm I'm happy with the purchase. I'm happy with it. No, no one really knows about this, this uh, razor, but I like it a lot. I need the shave, man. It's been about 24 hours. Oh, when I guess the green there. Yeah, it's been about 24 hours, but I don't know about you guys, but um, shaving just puts you in a better mood. You know? It's like that zen moment. It's like that zen moment of your day. It's like, uh, you know, sometimes uh, when you're after work or something, you just want to kick back, sip a beer, watch some football or something. It's kind of the same, same idea. I use this, this moment to kind of relax. You know? And I'm sure you guys could relate in some way or, or some form. Whatever that, you know, relaxing would be. So, like, for me, it would be, you know, shaving as similar to, you know, it's 
kicking back, drinking a beer or something. Whereas for you, it could be like playing golf. I don't know. Golf, I think, is relaxing, right? I don't really play golf. All right, cool. So first pass is done. I don't know if you guys saw Corey's unboxing. Um, shaving with Chief. Bro, that Wolfman looks insane. Bro, you can literally see yourself. Like, I have some polished razors, but not like that. Solid leather. This stuff could take the water. It could take the water. I've seen Jack uh, create some crazy lathers with this soap. I know CDB is not a fan of the showman's lather. But man, it's enjoyable. I mean, it's not enjoyable for him. No problem there. <clears throat> um, so he says, I'm not trying to be controversial at all. He says, you don't need it to get a good shape. And I agree. You don't need it. But let's say you're using these soaps, these artisan-based soaps. Some of them aren't really slick at all unless you add um, at least a decent amount of water. And if it's not worked in properly, it's like super thick. Uh, your skin dries out, especially if you're buffing on residual slick, like there's no lather there, residual, you can get irritation. Um, so I'm not trying to be like geeky or whatever, you know. I'm just saying if you're adding enough water, working it in, you could do this in like a minute or two and still get like a pretty big lather. Like if I loaded with more water in the brush, I could produce the lather way quicker. Or if I bolt lather way quicker. Um, yeah, so I like to start dry so I have more control, but that doesn't mean, like what I'm saying is you could get that showman's lather pretty quick. So like, you know what I mean? So like, why not? Cause like, I feel like a big complaint a lot of people have is like, they don't want to spend a long time lathering. I don't know. I'm just rambling. Um, but the way I see it is like, if you could do that quickly, then why not? If you just want to get in and shave, you should pick up like grooming department Kairos or a vegan soap. They lather like they lather like super freaking quick. Ooh, a little, little bit of tugging over there. So yeah, this thing is pretty damn efficient. I know I said that last time I used it, but I'm very pleased. I just wish it was lighter. Right. Anyways, um, look at the artwork on this. Oh, where's the splash? Where's the cap? This is just beautiful artwork. To me, that's that's cool as hell. Um, but anyways, for the, uh, oh, we got another cut. For the uh, sun notes, like I said, it was, it is Neroli Forward. And the other notes are Lavender, Amber, Okamas, Coramin, Tonka Bean, and Labdanum. And um, I definitely pick up the Lavender because it's got a little floral floralness to it. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but I, I don't like Lavender, but I like it when it's in the background. You know what I mean? Like in certain, like when it's by itself, I rarely like it. There is one exception and that's pure Lavender. But I should tell you looks. I like it. But um, I got rid of After the Rain, which is a lavender forward scent by a declaration. Champs of Lavanda. I could not even lather that stuff. I hated the scent. So 
You want some noodles with some, right? All right. Sorry, I'm rambling today, guys, but uh, this happened. <laughs> Yo, Ken was trolling hard today in this video. He was just like, <laughs> he, was, he was talking to, talking about his uh, Osiris Blade Works razor like it was a DE. And I was like, what the hell is this guy saying? <laughs> One second. So this is a trouble spot for me as well. I don't know if you guys know this area and these areas are trouble spots because I just can't uh, get a close close enough shave on these areas, but this one is picking it up pretty well. No irritation, no tugging. Pretty awesome so far. That's great. Um, if I did that with the carbon, like went over it a couple times like that, it would hurt. Like my skin would feel irritated. And I've used my fair share of aggressive razors, but I don't know. The first shave I had, oh, bloody. First shave I had with it on camera was great. Um, definitely not. I just got to get more in tune with it. I got to use it for like a couple of days in a row. And then I could be like, oh, damn, I got all this lather left and I just want to use it. But I'm kind of done with the DE right now. <laughs> all right. Sorry for the longer video, guys. Um, I just wanted to squeeze in that rant, I guess. I don't know. So this keeps reopening, but what are you going to do? Yo, Marion is a beast. Like, um, I'll be wondering why he hasn't uploaded in like two or three days. And then he'll drop like three videos in one day. Ah. Oh. Had to do it, guys. Had to use the album. Anyways, yeah, he's a beast. Uh, he seems, what's crazy is, oh, another one. He seems better with a straight on his head than with a DE, which is kind of blows my mind. I guess he has a really good feel for the angle and he's that good at it. And I guess if you don't use one thing for so long, I don't know. Because he mostly uses straights. The same way I mostly use DE, so I'm more comfortable with it. But it's not like, I don't know, it's not like you forget how to use something. You know, I guess you can forget how you play an instrument after a couple of years. But once you get back into it, you pick it right up, you know. Sometimes it's like you never left. Um, yeah, I don't know. So you straight razor shavers that have been learning. Um, have you guys experienced going back to DEs and like, is your technique been sucky? I'm really curious. Let me know in the comments. Or has it been like the same experience? That's what I want to know. Um, I mean, I see a lot of you guys, uh, you switch off and it seems to be fine. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but uh, you guys actually go through it. So I'd like to hear your thoughts.
think we're good, guys. I like sliced my finger open. I don't know if you can see that. Very sharp. This was like yesterday. I just don't know how the knot can fall out like that. I don't know. Someone explain it. I talked to JR. He said it fell out of the plug. He's never seen anything like it. It's in like a long, long time. But we're gonna take some lather here. Probably too much. Whatever, I don't care. Rub it in. Yeah, we'll get the splash and then we'll be good. Sorry about the, the long video, guys, and the rant. I just wanted to share it. Um, sometimes it doesn't always work out. Um, we're going to be using the matching splash. This had a very interesting ingredient that I have to read. Like, no, you guys got to hear this. Uh, what's it called? It's like dragon something. Don't, I'm not crazy. And I don't see it. <laughs> Damn. I, it, yeah, it's dragon's blood. I don't see it in here, but uh, when I looked it up online a couple weeks ago in the ingredients, it had dragon's blood, um, which is like a known thing for skin. I was like, that's an interesting name, but it's like a known thing. I was going to use the terror raid today, but I forgot because I saw DK, um, you know, everyone knows like it has like very little effect on him. So I wanted to go through it again, but maybe next shave. Um, all right, so we're gonna do the regular routine. Two drops, a little bit of alcohol. If it comes out, all right, that should be good. Wow, this is one of my favorite splashes. Holy cow, does a makes a great splash. Three, it's pretty good. So. Yeah, like I said, I definitely get the lavender, the neroli. Um, I don't really get the oak moss. Uh, tonga bean, I'm not sure. It's like some some sense, I'm not sure. All right, so, so you got a little stole here. Ooh, BBS. I feel like this the splash. As like an extra layer of protection that I could literally take a blade to it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.